let's talk about a problem that I have in the VTuber community, the fact that I'm black. I'll never forget when I was called freaking monkey cocky by a racist. You are breathtaking. That was enough being pulled from George Floyd. Whoa, he's a monkey IRL too. Not wanting to draw characters that have darker skin tones. Black people, y'all need a reason to be mad because life's too good for y'all. My Nick Hoover got a lot of sticks. Being black in the VTuber community feels horrendous. The concept of VTubing is sick because the options of how you present yourself are limitless. You can be an anime elf, Jiba dog, a narwhal, a demon girl, an AI, a piece of sh**. I'm not kidding. You can VTube as a piece of sh**. You can represent yourself any way as a VTuber. This don't just apply to people who want to act as anime characters or different virtual sonas. This also can apply to people who are hella unrepresented, such as black people. But damn, with the way some people in the scene be acting, my people be getting their ass be gay. So somebody gotta call it out. It's me. I'm somebody. The black VTuber experience is weird. There's a lot of racism in this field. Many conditions make it difficult for black VTubers in general to get out there. Oh no, the light is complaining about woke SJW nonsense. I don't care. I'm black, y'all. It's my mom. Just pretend you're watching this video. Get some snacks, get some water, get your your favorite boondocks clip and let's get into the video the vtuber sphere combines two cultures idol culture and anime culture while we could go into idol culture in another video let's glance over the anime community and jesus christ they treat black people like trash black cosplayers get harassed for cosplaying characters black voice actors get harassed and called slurs for voicing and ruining anime characters you make black edits of anime characters for inclusion low to your god yourself let me whitewash you personally i'm not even kidding there's an entire account that's just dedicated to this and don't get me started on kaon profile pic i love kaon and i don't know what it is with that show but if you like kaon there's like a 70 percent chance you've stayed the phrase despite making 90 percent of the population but i feel makeup or you're just a not i made a tweet talking about how kaon a super wholesome show has a bunch of bigots on twitter and i was called slurs and a baboon like look at look at it this is not me calling every anime fan racist but some of y'all need to be checked racism's a big issue there and since the vtuber community takes direct inspiration from anime the vtuber fan base has the same problem time to go over what it's like being a black vtuber The treatment that black VTubers get is trash! I'm playing, bro. This, it, it, it's actually ass! Ah! Just like black cosplayers, actors, and artists, black VTubers get harassed, attacked, and bothered just for being black and expressing themselves for anything. And when I say for anything, I mean anything! <laughs> Kenji commented on racial experiences in the VTuber community. People called him racist because some people genuinely thought he was white due to his model, despite being mixed with black, white, and Puerto Rican blood. Bruh. No, 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 listen to this. Man posted a body reveal looking fine as hell, and someone called him a monkey IRL too. I am being dead ass here! Sizzy, also known as the god, posted a clip of his choice on Twitter. Bro, imagine getting quote retweeted with someone calling you this. I, 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 I don't know how, this this feels like you just calling me the hard R. Anyway, support this video by subscribing to the chat. Yami Umai called out a VTuber for calling one of his friends the hard R in VR chat. The crazy thing is this VTuber had the handle attached to their account. You lost the security allegations. You know what this girl did instead of disappearing or making an apology? She made a new account and retweeted it. I just don't understand this. This is Tsunobi talked about how there aren't many live 2D assets for black VTubers, which is just fact. Since most VTubers aren't black, there aren't many assets that fit our race. And it's already hard enough for black VTubers to get black models due to the lack of artists doing it. Many artists don't draw black VTubers due to unwillingness or a sense of fear. For people who want to hear more about this topic, Evan made like a really solid video discussing how black VTubers struggle to even step foot in the industry, so check out his video. I'll eat your Cheetos, bro. I'll eat them all! But yeah, people completely misrepresent his intention and assume that black people were whining and calling artists racist when they were just wanting things to be more available. Well, I'm blue and I don't have assets. What, what awareness equating black people to non-human skin. Give this dude a quick time event. Everybody agreed that segregation was the... Boom, handcuffed jokes around black people and slavery. Y'all too comfortable. Do not tell African-American VTubers to make themselves white. It's already hard enough for them to get black models. Let us be black in peace. Black VTubers rightfully have an issue with a non-POC using black models, claiming black as a commodity, and joining black servers as they present themselves as black while not being black. Well, thinks she on the team! VTuber fans respond by making monkey edits of said black VTubers! I can't do this anymore! Blackface VTuber. Ah. Hey god dang! Blackface VTuber! Can I tell y'all about how this VTuber rebranded got out of for sexual harassment and transphobia alongside blackface, got put onto a VTuber blacklist, and still got picked up by a talent group? We do not care. Black female VTubers getting called dark chocolate against their boundaries, black VTubers getting racist edits, black VTubers getting bot raids. Please just heal me. We ain't even talk about the VTubers being dumb yet. I thought angels didn't have any more years of their lives to lose, and I'm losing so many already. The 
I will state that there are three types of VTubers. A soft, hoo wholesome VTuber, known for good vibes and a welcoming community. A loud and chaotic VTuber, known for the funny clips and the quirkiness. And the third. The joke is racism. Like, what is this? What the heck is this? Some people be throwing mad shade around black people's experiences and saying the wildest things. I had a quarter for VTubers that made jokes about black dudes suffocating the cops. That was an epic quote from George Floyd. What I, mean? I don't know what he's doing, right? Imagine just opening line, I was like, I'll take your breath away. <laughs> Sorry, not based enough for you? How about VTuber says the hard R while freestyling? I've analyzed this clip more times than I can count. How does the hard R come out accidentally from violin? I'm Never mind, understandable, have a nice day. In all honesty, it's become a huge part of everyone's vernacular here. So even I struggle to keep from saying it on stream. Is this nigga serious or what? Some VTubers let the N-word slip and then others just be phrasing it directly. Like, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, let me mention it again. Blackface VTuber. Mike Tyson was right. Social media made y'all way too comfortable with disrespecting people and not getting puns for it. Also, let me be clear, they really don't care. The girl who let the hard R slip, she apologizes. You think that'd be how it ends? Then you catch her in 4K liking comps calling her fun and based. We do not care. And these VTuber fans eat this up. Base, 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 base. We do not care. But when a VTuber gets called out for racism? Now, I'm really mad. You as a black people don't like when non-black people step over their bounds and say dumb shit? You stupid, sensitive PC snowflake. Spongeboy me, Bob. There's a formula here. Some VTuber does something stupid related to race. Black people explain why it's not okay. And the VTuber community calls us haters, jealous, or snowflakes for calling it out. Saying slurs? Shit, you stupid blackface? <laughs> Treatment gets so bad that token black VTubers just go and appease the crowd. Then someone just straight up races the black people. This dude made four separate videos barely on black VTubers, created monkey edits of them, and whitewashed George Floyd posts. Look, I try to be open. Hell, I'm even open to the non-black model topic for debate. But bro, he's just a leafy wannabe that hates his own race. Anyway, VTuber drama channels are crazy. Good thing I don't cover VTuber drama. Oh wait, serious time though. There's a lot of underhanded racism in this beer, and the worst part is us fellas just gotta deal with it. Just, just, just ignore it. The internet's the internet. No one's forcing them or holding them at gunpoint. Except for me, brother. You ain't invited to the cookout. You find you there, we're gonna give you the most well done steak at the event. Every time it gets more cooked, you hear that? Thanks so well done, saying congratulations. Honestly, if you ain't in POC and you're making a joke about race, just make the joke bang or actually funny. Some of y'all just try way too hard on being edgy. Anyway, there's one more thing to talk about and it's... I'm gonna make this point brief. I don't want this to be me attacking or shaming these agencies, but it'd be pretty cool to see more black representation than corpse. And saying that makes people mad for some reason. VTubing has the appeal of playing a personification of yourself or an original character in the virtual media. So seeing a VTuber that makes you go, she just like me for real, makes you feel pretty good when you don't see yourself often in it. And there ain't much of that on the corporate side. People always point out two dark skinned VTubers and say, there's your black VTubers. Yes. Don't get me wrong, Aragami Oga and Sakomo Sana, who unfortunately graduated, are amazing talents, but damn, that's like two brown talents compared to hundreds and hundreds of agency VTubers? Probably thousands. Why would the anime community get mad at black people wanting more representation? They'd be like, oh, but what about these characters? Okay, how many are characters of racist stereotypes? How many are one-off characters with no significance? How many are actually black? Shout out to Mika though, my favorite gay goat, watch this anime. And I can't believe I'm about to say this. Yo, and the proclaimed cleanest white person is Niji Sanji's black VTuber. Say? Look, yo, I love your content. You're entertaining as hell, but if Niji Sanji falls over and you're still labeled Niji Sanji's black VTuber, I'm ending it again. Until then, you white white boy. I think Toledo here. I'm seeing people mention Flair and Scar when the topic of black corporate VTubers appear. Flair is tan. Scarlet is Latina. That's great, but don't call those people black. Y'all just go up to any person with pigmentation and just ask them what their favorite barbecue rub is? I hope to God you don't. And since we're on the topic of Scarlet, y'all remember her being whitewashed during her debut week? There's just an agency problem with melanin in general. So yeah, more representation would be pretty poggers. But what about the indie scene? How many black VTubers off the top of your head made it? Why, well, generally a decent amount of this video, not many might come to your head as a major. But as I do my thing of talking trash and causing chaos, I want to support my brothers doing their thing too. So yeah, support your fellas. Uh, don't be doing dumb things about race and I don't know, give me your potatoes. That's what it's like being a black VTuber. <laughs>
don't get it twisted. I still love VTubers in this community. It's an amazing medium to express yourself and find a platform to do your thing. It's given many individuals, no matter what crap stacked against them, the opportunity to establish themselves in this world. So we gotta give it credit. Being able to express yourself, play a character, or find your life experience as an avatar in many ways that you can't do as a webcam streamer is an amazing experience. But with a medium you love, if you see problematic stuff, as much as I meme it, call it out. Bro, I'm still mad about the shizzy bit. If the term tuber ever picks up, I'm causing more problems. If the community can effectively address its treatment, improve its resources, and support those affected, VTuber can become far more welcoming for other newcomers. Until then, while this community is fighting the racism allegations, homie fight the algorithm allegations. If you got this far, thank you for watching your local fallen angel. Smash the like button, subscribe, because it really helps out, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. I want to be open on this, because voices are valid, but just, just don't be dumb or make racist edits like this. Also, follow my Twitch, because I am actively failing the consistent streamer allegations. I think it's hard, okay? I like making videos about trivial nonsense. It's it's not my fault! Anyway, we out of this. Uh, see you next time!